H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. So you can see this, this method is not allowed for us. The only thing is you have two options. One is a default method and one is a static method. So well, you do not need a public in front of any of the methods in the interface because by default it is public, okay? So when you have a static method, uh, if there is a subclass also, which is extending your swimming, they can even also have their own uh, static method also. For example, um, class swimming, uh let's say subclass okay so what i can do i can just kind of do the same thing also i can say copy this right put it here so both class can have the same static method so what if i just copy this one paste it here okay so extension method can only be used within the interface so, I mean, you cannot overwrite those. So, if I say something as a third override, right? Or let's say, some, say something like this. Okay. So, the method does not override method from its superclass. So, it, it does not basically does that. All right. So, you can have this, but you cannot have the same signature out here. So, that again, the concept out here is if there is a default implementation, uh, you just add up all the implementation out here itself and you can call, call it in the subsequent subclasses. Right, so only these two options are possible, guys. And then this is not possible at all. So this is actually there in the Java 8 itself. Okay. All right, uh, are we good, Aruna, on this one? All right, so yeah, I appreciate uh, asking these questions. Uh, at least someone is uh, reading the deep uh, concepts also. Uh, I think everyone should do that, no doubt. Anyways, there are so many different concepts which is present, folks, which probably we'll get into it slowly. All right, so Dinesh is asking for a key. I'm not sure what key is that. Okay. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We will talk about uh, collections. Um, I think previous session we spoke about uh, the input and output, and we saw uh, that there are so many different APIs, uh, classes, which is present, and uh, depending on your requirement, you would uh, end up using those um, classes. So if you're, you're talking about some binary files, you'd be using byte streams, you'd be using uh, character streams, different kind of uh, file we have, it, right? So well, that's, that was the main objective of this uh, previous class. And today we will concentrate much on what is a collection, okay? So collection by itself is a huge uh, framework. Uh, we will talk about pretty much uh, all the interfaces which are present in the collection which we need to know um, to implement anything okay and then we will move on to uh, what else okay that's all we we have it for today let's get started now all right i'll just keep it as it is go back here new java classes new package collections this is going to be collections example say okay see yes okay so what is a collection folks anyone public static void mean what is a collection by the way right so if i say int uh, ages is equals to or age array is equals to new of age uh, sorry new of int array right and i give a kind of 
uh did you project yes sir which the project session is already on actually oops sorry guys so this is three five eight four eight three three zero nine try this so the project session is on only one thing i'm waiting is um once you guys uh get into the spring uh, then we can get started there. So let's wait for a couple of uh, weeks more. So then we can get started. Okay. Uh, people are already working on the project. I just to let you guys know. So once you guys are pretty comfortable, we'll push you out there. Okay. Uh, so I mean, Anuj, if you can even do one thing. You can send out an email on. What, do you have a what all other skills you have it? If you know something more on advanced concepts. Uh, just ping me uh, i'll see if i can incorporate you there okay all right so what i was talking about is uh, we have something as int of ages and then we have got something as an integer uh, array of 10 correct and then what you do uh, you say ages of uh, zero you give some values here right so let's say 10 and then you say uh, ages of uh, nine which is equals to let's say 90 and this is the max you can give right so in between you can give a lot of other things also zero one two three four five six seven eight but um th uh, that's the limitation correct so if i say this out and say ages of uh, eight uh, i think everyone knows that we would be getting an answer as as zero out here right because by default that's the value you would be having it for an integer data type correct Likewise, if I say sys out ages of um, let's say 10, correct? So if I right click run this, you would get a except you would get an exception saying array index out of bound exception, correct? Or let's say for example, if I don't even do that, if I, if I just want to add something as ages of 10 also, I would technically get the same result uh, which I got it here. So it's going to be an array index out of bound exception. Correct? Array index out of bound exception. So the problem with this is that uh, if you have an array and uh, you have a fixed limit out here, if you want to keep on growing, because um, moving forward, when we talk about uh, database concepts and whatnot, uh, you want to query some data from the database, uh, and data from the database is all dynamic. Sometimes you have 10 rows in the table, sometimes you have 1,000 rows in the table. So uh, taking a constant array is not a good idea. So we need something more dynamic which can take a lot of data uh, for us dynamically and uh, keep on expanding all right so that's that's main objective for us so let's do this we will take the same functionality here and we will take something as as an array okay so what is an array let me bring up the definition so that you guys have something in, in picture. So a collection, sometimes called a container, is simply an object that groups multiple elements into a single unit. OK, so multiple elements. Now, one of the things that if you talk about uh, ages, right? So if I say ages of 0 is equals to 1, or ages of 2 is equals to, if I say something else, um, test, it's not going to work, right? Because it is an integer data type that is a string data type and whatnot. So this doesn't work basically, right? But in collections, you have an option that you can even push everything in one single collection, uh, one single object itself, right? So a collection, sometimes called a container, is simply an object that groups multiple elements into a single unit. And collections are used to store, retrieve, manipulate, uh, and communicate aggregate data. So we, you, we would see a lot of different uh, data structure, right? So this is mainly data structure, how you structure your data, right? If you guys remember that uh, we created something as a two-dimensional arrays, right? And then we added a uh, um, bit of complexities out there, if you guys still remember that, right? So it's, it's kind of a data structure I, what I want to use it, right? So likewise, I can even use some sort of data structures out here in order to club things together and whatnot, right? So there's an example collection of fruits, telephone directory, a mapping of names to the phone number. So when you talk about telephone directory, what do you have? Like say you have something as a map, right? Uh, map in the sense, let's say you have a telephone directory and then you basically, if you want to know something about uh, Peter, so you scroll through not the numbers, but you scroll through 
uh, the names alphabetically, right? And then once you get into the Peter, then you get get the phone number. So it's kind of a map to the phone number. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, if you have your name, the first name and last name, you can easily get the phone number of someone's. So it's kind of a map, right? So we'll talk about those concepts. And in collections, there are mainly one, two, three, four interfaces, right? And these are implementation classes. So we'll talk about those things um, in some time now. Okay. So the first thing first is talking about some dynamic arrays, right? So this is not dynamic. Once you define a value, you cannot go beyond it, right? What if suppose I want to add one additional uh, element, uh, let's say 15 elements I want to add, there's no space. So what I have to do, I have to kind of create a new uh, array, copy the existing, all these 10 values from the old array, put that in the new array, right? And then I have to add the new arrays. So things are involved. You can do that, but you have to do a couple of more coding also. An easier way is I would use something known as, let's say list list is equals to or let's say comment this out you'll come to know real quick list of ages is equals to new of array list and i would say ages dot add uh, zero okay then one two three four five i can keep going on and on and on see this what i'm doing is this is an existing class which is coming from java.util package again. And on the left hand side, it is an interface. And uh, as I said, in, when we were talking about interfaces, moving forward, there would be a lot of implementations, a lot of code wherein you would be using left hand side as an interface and right hand side as the implementation class. So this is the implementation class for us. Okay, And this is again not by, a, by me, it is given by the Java folks itself. Right? So this is the class array list, which extends your abstract list. Uh, it's a complete hierarchy, by the way. Okay, but this is an implementation of your list interface. So how do I get the size of this list? Ages dot size. Okay, so for the arrays, you've got uh, ages dot length or arrays dot length, which will give you the size of the array. Okay, so now if I right click run on this, you got the value is six. Now, uh, after that, also I can come here and say ages dot add. Let's say um, anything I can add. Okay, fifty ages dot add uh, Peter. Okay, ages dot add new of person. See this? I mean, there's no restriction for me right now. I can add anything inside this. Anything. But for the integer arrays, it was specific that you need to only add integers. Well, you can do other things also. You can even create an object array also. Object array, okay, is equals to new of object array. You can even do that. And once you do that, you can add anything. You can even add integers, strings, any different classes, by the way, okay? But that's not the objective here that uh, you can create an object array, you can push everything. The objective of this particular collection is that you can, there's a growable array. Here also there is a restriction. Apart from uh, adding zero to nine, you cannot even add anything apart from that. Okay, so here we go. We have got something known as an array list. So let me just quickly run this one. Now I would just say uh, ages dot. It's technically no ages now because I have added a name, I have added a person. So technically it is not ages. But still, I would just say, give a size to it and just say ages dot. I'll just print this ages, right click, run this. Right? So there's a question, can we add a Boolean? Let's try adding a Boolean dot add, um, let's say true, okay? Here we go. It takes anything, by the way, right? So let me run this again. Here we go. So everything is in an order, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Then, uh, so I'm talking about this one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, 50, Peter, name, null, profession, uh, equals to null, true, right? So this is 
all about person object and this is all about boolean right you can put anything into an array i mean into a list out here right so this is a list by the way now technically talking about uh, if you if you know that the uh, list which you are creating actually is is only on age why would you simply create an age and add something else like i've added something else here these three lines are something else right so i can even restrict that also saying okay i want to create an age array right but it should be only an integer so what i can do i can just come here and say integer okay can you do something like this no it should be your wrapper type integer okay now i mean we know that uh, this is something as auto boxing you can say zero also you can say new of integer of zero also it's pretty much the same here uh unnecessary boxing it says unnecessary boxing right so i don't need this i can even have this but i don't need it actually okay so this concept is known as your generics so you are saying that uh i can even put it on the right also seeing this as integer oh sorry technically you don't need to put it here but even though i put it here it's of no harm but you don't put it here you just say that okay um when you use any concept as generics out here you say something as integer of whatever you are interested in equals to new of array list of brackets here okay so here technically uh, initially we had we used to put it in this way but from i think java 7 or 8 we don't even need this also but you need the angular brackets out here okay so now you can see the moment i do that it is complaining me that you cannot even add anything else apart from only integers so it says add uh, integer in the list cannot be applied to java.lang.string as simple as that okay so copy this i mean um do this All right now how do i iterate uh, how do i loop through these list i mean i think everyone knows what is a looping here if suppose i want to print all the information about it well i can do that i can say sys out uh, ages i can do that right so that's what i have done it here by the way right so if i run this i get the result and i get it as 0 1 2 whatever i have added and one important thing to note here is that it maintains an order guys okay so we'll talk about not maintaining an order also so we need to understand that this uh, this special interface list or or the class array list it uh, maintains a, uh, a order okay so technically speaking adding uh, an element to the end is pretty much more is is fast very fast in this operation okay so if you have something as uh, uh, adding something at the end right so the operation is pretty fast let's say for example what i can do is let's say i've got like around 1 million records right so let's say this is my um, almost 1 million record right so you got so many different records in between i mean assuming like everything is in order 0 to 1 million right now all of a sudden what you're doing you're saying okay i want to add one more um, number in between let's say uh, 4 and 5 correct so ages dot add on a particular index 0 1 2 3 4 right i want to add 4 point let's say um, some number let's just talking about let's say 3 for example right or let's say 300 for instance so in between 1 and uh, sorry after one i want to add 300 also correct so let me just show you this run this real quick right so after three i wanted to add 300 or i can just say four five here okay 
Okay, so after four, I I wanted to add this. Um, let me do one other thing here. Before adding, let me copy this, paste it here. It'll be a lot more clear than this. Okay, so this is before, after, correct? But there's there's a problem with this uh, array list. The what is it problem is that, um, I mean, assuming that uh, this is in some half a million, okay, five is in half a million, and or let's say four is somewhere in the half a million number. Uh, we are not adding up those things though. So what after you are trying to add three here, right? So what happens is all these I men okay assume like fifth is in which index now fifth is in zero one two three four fifth index correct now i'm trying to add something in the fifth index here correct now when you add something in the fifth index what happened to the value five or any value it has to shift to the right 